We're in the Paracas History Museum in Paracas, Peru, and what we're doing today is monumental. We're going to take this skull, which is all wrapped, as you can see, out of the case, and we're going to unravel it and find out the, what the shape of the skull is that's inside of it. This is a royal Paracas baby, probably about one year old, and you want to see what kind of deformation um, is evident in the skull. We're also taking this middle one out here, the tall one, and that one will be cast in order to make copies for future scientific investigation. Okay. So, yeah, I thought maybe jawbones or anything like that. Okay. Let's see the camera first. Okay. 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 So as you can see, this will be a full forensic professional investigation of the elongated skulls of Paracas, Peru. And this, to my knowledge, has never been done before. It's, it's indicative that it's not Eastern Asian. We know that. Um, it could be more, it, 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 it kind of rules out, it doesn't tell you exactly what it is, but it'll rule out, you know, like Asiatic culture. So. And of course, if that's true, then that upsets the Darwinian theory of the Beringian, the Bering Strait, people coming over at the end of the last ice yeah. age hunting mm -hmm. megafauna. Right. And for well, of course, so not African. African wooden rock. <clears throat> no, probably wouldn't. It would. It would be flat. So if this was Eastern Asian or African, it would be. It wouldn't rock. It would just lay flat. It wouldn't rock. But this, the fact that it rocks, would be indicative of either European or <clears throat> North or you know Central South American. Or both. <clears throat> or yeah, it could be any of that. But you just don't know. The other way to. So the other way to do. So that does rock. Without putting words in your mouth, could it have come from the Middle East? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of red hair coming up in the in the Paracas culture, right? Sure. Yeah. So what does that mean? But the Chinese didn't. Some of the Chinese have. Well, white people. I mean, the Caucasians that were found there. Were right. Chinese. Right. And those were fairly recently found. <laughs> and so who would say this isn't some of them? Well. And then the Chinese expeditions. Yeah. I don't know that you can really say that, but, you know, I think it's just, you know, it's just one, one piece of the puzzle. It doesn't, it doesn't give you definitive information, but it just helps to clarify maybe what it's not. That's important. Another thing you can do is look at the nasal cavity and, you know, and just see what, you know, the shape of the nasal cavity mm -hmm. and then the size of the orbits. You look at the brow as well. This has no pronounced brow. So, as Joe was indicating earlier, it's probably female, and I, I do agree on that. Mm -hmm. um, so, it does get a kind of a teardrop type of nasal mm -hmm. cavity to it, mm -hmm. which would also reflect that it's probably not Eastern Asian. But what would an Eastern Asian uh, nasal cavity look like? You can compare it just verbally for us. Well, <clears throat> I'd have to have a chart to show you. Um, there's wear in the uh, in, in the jawbone there, right? It's, it's just, just the it's just de decreasing as the bone closes mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. So it means the teeth been gone a long time. Mm -hmm. It's also got a very pronounced chin. Right. I mean the chin don't look very point there. It's just kind of smoothed back up in here, which is. Is this disease here? Uh, that that may be cavity or something. It's not yeah. a foramen. I this think is. this is right here. That's the nerve, yeah. When we, when we rotate the skull and we look down at the, at the dentition, can you determine if the wisdom teeth are, are in? See, these teeth have been gone a long time. The ones uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, because there's, I mean, there's no holes, there's no holes there, <clears throat> so. Infilling. Yeah, this, see, this is nerve root here. The first thing we want to try to do is determine what <clears throat> layers were wrapped last, so we can unwrap them first, see how the... <clears throat> which way the cloth is going and um, 
That way it won't tear the cloth. Hopefully it won't fall apart. <clears throat> Gosh. <laughs> it's okay. There's a, you know, the tooth in this little tooth in there. I don't know if that's in the skull or what, but it's, uh, I, don't, I don't think it should be there. Concur? Oh, wow. Uh, no. It's, uh, there may be yeah. some damage. It looks like the, I think the lower jaw is in place here, but that was been broken off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably when they recovered it. It's got a fantastic band, though, that's got color in it yeah. still. Yeah. The band around. is amazing around it. Yeah. Pur purple and green. Purple and yeah, green. it's really fantastically well preserved. Uh, you want to collect stuff over here? Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just uh, so I don't keep messing with it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah. So, what do you want to? <clears throat> All right, Joe. Go ahead and start. Tell us what you're spraying it with, Joe. This is distilled water, so we don't contaminate any uh, <coughs> samples that might be taken. Boy, it is really... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's where the hair is coming down. That's uh, that's on the front of his face. Okay, this outer wrap is off. All right. All right. Let's see if we can keep that together. Let's get a. Let's get. Yeah, let's get it back over on the table a little bit. Depending on what the carbon dating comes back at, and the reason for this is he's trying to locate and get a sample of pollen. If we can get a good sample of the pollen that was in the area when this particular individual was buried, we can then determine whether the, the fauna uh, was the same as it is today. In other words, was this area in Paracas or the Paracas area, was it as dry as it is now or was there sufficient rainfall? Did it uh, host a variety of plant uh, life that's not here today? And that's the whole purpose of the pollen test. Well, just unravel this elongated shape and uh, again the purpose of it is to ascertain whether this is naturally occurring or is the result of cradle headboard and we'll soon find out. Great. Is it, that's here. Is it here? Uh, well, I think it's part of the cloth. I don't know. What What are you talking about, Joe? It looks like the tongue. I can't really see it. Seriously? Either. Yeah, it might be the tongue. It might give you last meal. The teeth can give you last meal. In fact, the teeth can tell you what plant juices they ate last. This part of the cloth has all been sort of fused together, deteriorated. I wonder if we can actually determine what chemicals they used to... I'm sure they can, yeah. Put it, put it under some rock. Well, it's hydrocephalia. Oh, okay. Thank you for, for telling us what it is. It does pose a question of why was he buried? Well, what happened here? What does that tell us? Is it working? No, we don't have a great picture. Yeah. Get out MX to the yeah, end. There we go. Don't hit that one. Yeah. You know, it's all the lights. That's what we're oh, fighting. We're no. fighting the lights. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Let's, uh, What's the problem? We're fighting the lights. Your lights are killing it. Oh. Can you turn them off? Yeah, yeah if you would just briefly right so we can get the sample. I switched it back over to infrared. This is the freaking paparazzi here. It is. I see the front, yeah. 
Ya no más, señor Juan. Salió uno. Apaga, apaga, apaga la paga. That's just way, way outside normal, man. Yeah. I don't know what we're looking at, but it's not normal. Ya, toma la foto y después me la mandas así correo. Claro, acá yo tomo con el de acá. Qué Falta este Joey. Joey. 